Hey guys, here we go with a new video and uh, I've disappeared a little bit like two or three weeks from from YouTube channel It's just I've been really busy with the business, but no, I'm back and I'm back with a good news I'm offering 10 discount 10 coupon code for 10 Peeps who are gonna take action on this for my course Ecom Elite Accelerator So they get it for half of the price It's the course, the mastermind and all this cool stuff Anyway, you'll find the link below and you'll find also the coupon code It's for the 10 first one to, to use it So act fast, first arrived, first served And that being said, let's jump to the serious stuff And this video is about, uh, it's about like the most the most common question I get uh, regarding Stripe for non-US residents It's the seven most common questions that I'm getting all the time And to start, question numero uno is Is it still working? The answer is yes It is still working uh, Every day there is somebody reporting back to me that it's working People from all over the world Like from African countries, from from Eastern Europe, from South America, Morocco, it's working. And the thing is, in case it stopped wor working, I will update the description of the video, this one, and I will put it's not working anymore. Hopefully, I won't have to do this, hopefully, because this is like, like, uh, it won't be cool, it won't be cool at all. Question numero, numero two, number two. Is it possible to connect Stripe to TransferWise? And the answer is it is not possible to connect Stripe to TransferWise. Question number three, how to deal with chargebacks? So, so as you might know, uh, Pioneer doesn't allow chargebacks. Like, let's say that you have a chargeback uh, for a payment made via Stripe. Uh, Pioneer won't send back the money. Uh, and uh, and this creates some problems with Stripe because if this happens, they you you can get some trouble. You can get your account in trouble, and you can lose it eventually. So so here is the thing: when you receive the payment on your Stripe account, try to al try to always keep some money. Like you put you put the payout on manually and not automatically. Not every one day or one week you receive the money on your bank account. But instead of that, you go and you select the amount of money that you want to withdraw to your bank account and you try to always keep something like 100, 500, 1000, depending on your business. You know better your business and you know the amount of chargeback that you can get. So when you do this, whenever somebody do a chargeback, the money, like they get the money back directly from your Stripe account and you keep, uh, your, you keep your account safe. Question number four, what to enter as SSN number? This is a question that many people are repeating. Even if I, thought, I, I, I said that on my previous video about, uh, about Stripe. But anyway, when you, have, when you are asked to enter the SSN number, you enter 0000, and that's it. Pregunta numero cinco, number five. What address to put when registering the LLC? Uh, so when you go to register the LLC, they ask you for your address. And this might be a bit confusing for many people. Like they think that they have to put the US address when registering the LLC. But no, you have to put the your home address. If you live in Casablanca, put Casablanca. If you live in, in Sao Paulo, you put Sao Paulo. And put your home address, and uh, because it's just in Stripe that you have to put the US address, and not with the with the with the LLC with the company that uh, will form your LLC. All right, question number six: Do I need a business pioneer account? So many 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 people are asking because they think that they need to have one one personal pioneer account and one business pioneer account so they can connect the business one to to stripe thing is you can connect either the business account or the personal account because all what they need at stripe is the routine number and the account number 
and they don't care that much about the name and anything and anything like that so either a business pioneer account or a, a personal pioneer account would work perfectly and it's always good to have two accounts better than having one just one as a backup let's say that you get your stripe account shut down for i don't know any reason you connect another stripe account to the other pioneer account and you'll be done and question number seven is it possible to connect pioneer to paypal and the answer is yes you can you can connect pioneer to paypal what you when you try to connect your pioneer to paypal because paypal also asks you only for the routine number and the account number so when you try to do this sometimes you get some error message what you can do is giving a call to paypal and telling them hey i'm trying to connect my 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 us bank account without mentioning that it is a pioneer of course because they don't accept pioneer so you say i'm trying to connect my us bank account and it's not working could you please fix that problem and most of the time this little trick work they do it while they are with you with you on the phone and they connect your pioneer to your just never mention it is pioneer account because if you say that then you are screwed so guys that's it for this video if you found it useful please thumb up and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and also to check my previous video about stripe for non-us residents and see you in the next one cheers Oh, la, 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 la.